ready for channel 17? Here we go. <gasps> Beautiful earrings. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. You need light. channel 17. Zumba. HVCBTV. TV. We got the public cloud and channel 17 news. Kind of. Sambaramba. CCC. Some phasing in. Oh, help me! No, help me. Back to TV. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to our new broadcast. Sweet. Broadcast. <laughs> yes, we understand. It's a broadcast. If you like the local fifty-eight. And right. channel seven. Okay. All right. You're going to hate this. <laughs> then we begin our broadcast day. New broadcast day. All right. All right. Looks hunky-dory. Peachy. Like a peach soda. I want to get up and do the salsa. I don't want to say go peach. I, I, oh they were in the God. studio with that one. <laughs> I'm not even scared. I just want to like dance. Yeah, I'll, well, I I think this is a nice don't, intro. Don't, don't, so. Oh, it's a good don't, intro. I didn't, I wasn't dissing the intro. I just meant that oh. song. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I want to like Channel 17 actually done by people who worked on uh, Local 58. I, I don't think so. I think it's just heavily influenced Inspired. by them. Yeah. yeah. All, right. All right. Here's the second video. We uh, love weather an warning. Inspired queen. Weather warning. At least they're forward about it. They're like, hey, we're inspired by this. Uh, tonight's schedule paid program the Hinkley Firestorm documentary. Yo, the Hinkley Firestorm documentary! Oh, and long shit! Weather forecast at 4 a.m. I think I'll be up at that, that documentary. I hear it's a three star. No, I heard it was a four part. I mean, it's on channel 17. Do you expect it to be a five it's star? A it's a four part. It's like a three star, though, Kitty. They use like an extraordinarily low budget, and half of it was them talking to Michael Moore. Oh, shit. Oh. Transmission? I got Transmission? the first ready. It's a severe thunderstorm warning for Hinkley and Sandstone. I, all I think of is go, Pepperdine. For Peppy P.S., of all the schools, we like you best. What? Oh, from from the uh, miss switch. I don't oh, know why. Oh shit! Uh oh. All right. East. We must learn what this east is. S E A S. East transmission. Ankle is currently in a severe thunderstorm warning. Obey all law enforcement regulations and obey the following instructions. <clears throat> No oh boy. We did law enforcement had to deal with a severe thunderstorm. Oh. Shh. Radar Library. image. The storm it come. Obey the following instructions. Look too close to border. Remain indoors. Don't go outside. Of course. Do not answer the door for anyone at this time. If you are in a home or in a building of your own, go to your basement, turn on your radio for information about the weather. Hold on, somebody's at the door. Give me a minute. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, no, at the door! Something's not right about the storm. Not what it used to be like this. Not what we remember about him. Who's him? He's turning the sky dark green. That God. bastard. God, I told you. It's don't not uh, safe here it anymore. Me. It's all right, Who's guys. He? It was just a devilish hell spawn. He was delivering my pizza. I want to know who answers the door during a hurricane or a storm. Not me. me. I ain't answering that shit. I mean, I did. I got a pizza out of it. Ah. Probably from hell, but, you know. Ah, at least this has some authentic VHS feel. Remastered oh, yeah, this pizza is definitely from hell. It has anchovies on it. Actually, I've eaten anchovies. They're Stop. Bad. I agree. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> and no, I've eaten the third anchovies and the last right up video. out of the can. Wait, what? 
<laughs> I've eaten uh, anchovies straight up out of the can when I first lived on my own. They were very salty. Well, yeah. And they're here, now here comes the final video of this particular series because this hasn't been touched upon in a year. Ooh. Uh, this is called the hijacking incident. Uh-oh. Ooh. I'm already liking this music. Why is it always like the chill vibes and crap? I like no. the music that they use. Great programming, news at 7, town council meeting recorded yesterday at 5.05 p.m. Good, I've been wanting to change in this town. Who? Hey. We just saw that. What the fuck? I want to know when the health bombs that? up in the yeah, broadcasting station are gonna. Let's see if we could. Whoa! Well, what was that up. noise? A box. The fuck? Ah, fuck! That wasn't good. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can time it just right. Fuck! Notice. That's, that's all we got. What, did you see a face or something? Like what? Uh, bread. Bread? You saw bread? You I'm saw sorry, Wonder Bread? bread. <laughs> Wonder Bread. I don't know why my mic thinks static. it's saying bread. What did you see? Something red. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said well, bread. Well, at least something in red. Then again, I gotta go to the grocery store. Oh yeah, no, I see it too! It's not bread, it's red! I want it to be I bread. I couldn't even pause it at the right time, and it's kind of odd because un Caracol can allow me to use the frame by frame features, but uh, this, I don't think I can. You should have stuck. Well, with then Caracol. go open it in another YouTube tab and look at it through that way, and then just screen cap it really quick and post it in the chat. Okay, give me a and minute. And then in the then. post editing, you know, do what you do. Aha! Post yeah. editing never fails. Post editing, your friend and ours. There is nothing to hide. Oh, we don't have to worry about anything then. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nothing Listen. to hide. Nothing to hide. We are experiencing some technical difficulties. I'll say. We'll be back after a short break or two. Give us fake commercials. Fake commercial, fake commercial, fake commercial. Yes! Oh, they did! <laughs> Wait. These are real, I think. It is real. Oh, more fucking red messages. I gotta fucking go through that as well. Alright. Okay. Let's see if playing it gives us even better clues. Still, no better way to get... To get what? <laughs> Wilford Brimley. Get out? I saw Wilford Brimley. Channel 17 off air. Oh, fuck. Ch not even Channel 17 could air the diabetes. There was, no, there was nothing. <clears throat> nothing. We, we I am Wilford Brimley. Diabetes. Then, like, the TV just breaks. I have it somewhat oh. decoded. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Being hijacked. Oh. I don't think. Is that even. You're still not listening to me, aren't you? Wow, way to be sassy there, TV. You're not Bitch. sassy. Sass Mac. I okay. am telling the truth. Listen here, Sass Max, brother. We're not asking. He comes out every night I see the with man. blood in his eyes. What? He will be looking for you. He come by any time. He knows where you're hiding. Come to my room. He doesn't watch you. But he kills. We'll return shortly. Is it a ghost? A demon? What is it? Uh, the whole entire plot to Silent Night, Deadly Night? People are going to be so pissed. They weren't scared at all. They didn't take it seriously. Sadly, there isn't very much we can do with this information. And sadly, this... All I got so far is there's some man who's spooky and wants to kill me, and hurt me, and kill me. All right, what you know? And then some guy's accusations. 
the throwing accusations at us saying we weren't listening. Uh, hopefully not. Today is our signal was hijacked by an unknown person. Causing a problem in our control. If the hijacker is found, there will be serious consequences and will be arrested. For now, we'll resume our regular programming. Thank you for your patience. I like the typing effect they had. Were you able to do that back then? Oh yeah. If you animated it right. Cool. I think from like the 70s onward. That gives me ideas. I think this is don't ignore me. Yep. I think that's it because look at the way that the um Kitty's based. That's almost the same font. That is. That probably same is font. the same font. It's the exact same font. She pinpointed it. All right. Wow. Okay. Right, do we cool. have any thoughts about this? Any like anything we would offer to improve? Anything before we just end this series? I feel like that'd be I a good closer. Something Hold there. On. Uh, sadly, I wish this would have been continued, so that way that we can learn more, but... Yeah, I would like to know more, because this says, don't ignore me, like, what is this creature, or person, or killer? Like, yeah, this, this like, thing is this... that's essentially telling you about the man with blood in his eyes, I want to know what that's about. I... Is this, I think like, having a channel flipping, and then having, like, a different station talking about this mass murderer, or this entity, or someone was abducted, and then it flips back to channel 17, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Like give us kind of like a world building thing, but yeah, I mean it has potential. It's just you know, there, it's getting there. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see more. I feel like two more episodes and I'd be like, all right, what's going on? Yeah, I don't feel like the real world assets like the Clorox bleach or the Quaker Oats commercial were necessary. I um, think it'd be more immersive if they end up making their own commercials. And I even yeah. if it was like the worst budget, it was a freaking box that they drew on with crayons. I'd respect it. It's like all right, you're trying. Um, yeah, everyone yeah. thinks it has to be super duper high quality. Well, I mean, there was low budget stations like PBS back yeah. in the day that was just a curtain and a guy with a microphone, you know? But yeah, it's the thing about this is the biggest thing about analog horror, in my opinion, is universe immersion. And if mm -hmm. we're in like a different universe where different shit is occurring than the way that they like advertise or talk to or communicate with people might be different. Uh, the amount of times like this entity could like interfere with different TV channels and stuff like that. You know, we don't know. Coming from an editing perspective, when it comes to making commercials, it's um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to make your own commercials because you you don't have to stay within a confine of okay, uh, what what product I'm selling or I'm I'm trying to rip off another product. You can make your own ads of anything. Like I could like hold up like this is clearly like you know a bottle of shampoo, but I can say it's a lovely perfume or something like that. You can have so much fun with making your own stuff and I'm only coming at it from an editing perspective because um, when I do the brew, I have to get very creative with my edits and I have to really sometimes go outside of the boxes I've already gone outside of. And I would love to see these editors that I've seen with Analog Core because they've inspired me and I would love to see that inspiration um, them having their own inspiration and watching it kind of flourish yeah if that makes any sense like they've they've kind of taught me right the kind of effort that actually goes into making something look like it's low budget or from like a longer time back in television broadcasting uh that there it's is very hard actually... it's very hard <laughs> yeah there is actually effort in making shit look old too it's... not just Oh my god, it's so much, it's fun when you get the hang of it, but it's really hard to make it authentic. I feel like, at least in my own editing journey, I know this sounds like so cliche, but um, you have to go through so many trials and errors to figure it out. Because when I started trying to go more older style editing, I literally used overlays and shit. I didn't know what a plugin was. And I was like, wait a minute, I can have a plugin and I can like adjust it as if it's immersed. I'm like, hell yeah. So I ended up finding more and more. And then Red Giant Universe added this cool, like, um, I think it's called AV plugin of, or something, but that really helps for anybody out there. And, and I just am telling you guys this, that for you to flourish, cause I would love to see you guys make the most authentic, 
um, analog horror or ARG or whatever you want to call it. There's this really cool plugin called the AV Club, and it simulates like older TV style and then layer the uh, VHS on top of it. You have a beautiful, seamless um, look to it, and it's gorgeous. And I've been doing that for a little while, and um, <laughs> a Ricky a couple of times like, did you did you fucking rip a tape from this? <laughs> I remember you saying something like that. I forget. I, I believe so. Like, you know, there's times where Kitty makes things that are very believable. Um, and it, if, if these people can't, maybe they, they really cannot do a fake commercial. I get it. But like find some like maybe actual low budget commercials that not many people find. Like you can type in obscure 80s commercials and throw one in and it'd still be kind of immersed. It's when... It's when you use popular ones like, ah, Pepsi. It's like, all right, I'm kind of taken out of the world a bit. I think the best thing would do is, like, go to a uh, public access TV. Because you could find these cool gems in there. Like, there is this, like, woman and this guy, like, singing, like, together. And it's just really random. And I think that would be really cool. Like, maybe if you want somebody, like, simulating changing the channels or something. Yeah. All right. I think that's good. I like talking that's... about editing, so... All right, let me press stop here and we can choose our next series.